Hi guys and welcome to Comics and Chill. Today we are looking at Superman Batman from 2003. Be mainly focusing on the first story arc which was by Jeff Loeb, Ed McInnes and Dexter Vines. I apologize for any sound issues today guys. There's an ungodly amount of traffic outside my window. There's a helicopter flying over and my neighbors are cleaning rather aggressively. There's a lot of slamming and banging going on. But I got a busy day today and I got to get this done. So as I've mentioned before, I was more of a Marvel kid and this was one of the first DC books I picked up and today I've been trying to remember what drove me to pick it up and I think it was Ed McInnes' artwork. I think I'd seen some previews in Wizard Magazine or some posters at my comic store and I liked the way that he handled the characters. It wasn't overly serious and it wasn't too realistic. It had this nice cartoony bounce to it. And it was kind of a contrast to what I was seeing on the shelves at the time, which was a lot of superhero characters being taken perhaps a little bit too seriously, too gritty. And I like the look, this sort of primary color look to this book. And I also loved how McGuinness and Vines handled the backgrounds throughout this series. You can see Metropolis on the left here, Gotham on the right. Each city's kind of felt like their own character. And McGuinness was able to keep that sort of timeless vibe that I love. That's my favorite portrayal of each of the cities when they have this sort of timeless art deco, mid-century, futuristic sort of look. So one thing that was always daunting to me about collecting DC when I was younger is not having sort of any clue about the overall continuity of DC Comics. And what I loved about this book when I picked it up was everything you need is right here in this first arc. So Loeb does a great job getting you caught up on Superman and Batman's origins and then we dive straight into the action. And he's using this nice dual narrative technique to give both title characters different thoughts on the situation that's happening and also their feelings toward one another. And it's generally a really fun story. The plot of the first arc revolves around an asteroid that's heading to Earth and it is a chunk of Krypton. And Lex Luthor, who's the president in this storyline, is blaming it on Superman and has called for his arrest and has put a one billion dollar bounty on his head. And Batman teams up with Superman to help him clear his name. And the storyline goes in some pretty crazy directions. It's generally quite over the top but it's really fun. It doesn't take itself too seriously. And the book really seems to enjoy just being a superhero book. For example here the Toy Man builds this massive Superman Batman composite robot in order to try and help Superman and Batman stop the asteroid from destroying the planet. Crazy and unbelievable, of course, but also very fun. And in typical Loeb fashion, he covers a huge cast of characters. And I loved seeing McGuinness's take on all of these. Everyone's very chunky. They look like action figures. And the coloring by Dave Stewart is superb. I knew that from this point that Loeb and McGuinness went on to work on The Hulk, an Avengers vs X-Men tie-in, and also a Nova series, but I had no idea how much they'd worked together prior to this. Going far back as McGuinness working on Fighting American with Rob Liefeld and Loeb, Mr. Majestic, and then his Mr. Majestic run led to him having a run on Superman, which leads straight into this Superman Batman series we're looking at right here. The most recent work of his I checked out is the current Avengers series with Jason Aaron. And I loved McGuinness's work on that book, but the story's just not for me. I don't think Aaron was handling, in the beginning, the team dynamic of the book very well. But McGuinness's artwork is always solid, through and through. The guy cuts no corners. He has a great power and energy to his work, and some really fun layouts. And I love the way that he is able to keep his sort of solid line style, but also render effects like explosions and smoke, and even this shine here on Captain Atom in a very fluid way. But I definitely recommend this series, especially if like me at the time, you are a little clueless or a bit more casual with your DC fandom. This book is a straight up fun superhero yarn. There's not a lot of navel gazing. It's just great plot and action. Beautifully rendered by McGuinness and Vines. Beautifully colored by Dave Stewart. And it's just a fun time all around. I think I initially read the first two arcs of this with the next arc being drawn by Michael Turner. And if I'm remembering correctly, the arcs throughout the series can pretty much be read as standalone stories. And I'm gonna continue reading this. I had such a blast revisiting this first story arc. And I'm also gonna be making an effort to dig out more of McGuinness's older work, especially that Superman run he did prior to this. 
Thanks to all of the new recent subscribers and thanks to everyone who checked out my video on the Spider-Man game from the year 2000 on PlayStation 1. By far has the most views in this channel, so I really appreciate that. Anyway, thanks for checking out today's video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on social media, tell a friend and have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow.